Hi everyone, it's Miss Naima again. So welcome back to another class key text video from the chapter book of The Secret Diary of Jane Finney. So let's get reading again. And we are on page 114 and it's day 33 in Jane's diary. Autograph arrived today. Miss Wimple brought it into the servants' hall for us all to see. It is behind glass in a fine frame. It is incredible. There we all are, captured as if by magic in brown and white. Because there's plenty of us and the camera can only capture a moment, not each and every one of us has our eyes open or is making a proper face, even though none of us was playing the fool. I look different to me reflection in the glass, cause I'm the right way around for once. But I could tell it were me, and I'm pleased with how downright smart I looks in the uniform. Mary looks nice too, but she kept moaning something about her cap being asky. Long John's kept telling her that she looked most handsome in the photograph and true to life. A lot of smiles passed between them. There was much wonderment and pointing and laughing as everyone crowded round, and we all are, um, are in agreement that Mr. Pritchard looked most fine in his seat in the middle of the front row, one hand on his lapel, his eyebrows on their best behaviour. Mrs. McNamara provided Mr. Wimpole with a cloth to wipe the glass free of fingerprints before taking it up to the master. It was good of him to let us have a look-see. There was a moment of what I heard Mrs. McNamara call high drama, and Mr. Wimpole merely dropped the thing, a glass, the frame and all, as he carried up the servant stairs to the main house. Luckily, he managed to catch it, catch it just in time. After poor Jack's fall, I'm beginning to think I'm stairs is jinxed. Me, in a photograph forever, there for all the world to see. The only other bit of excitement is that tomorrow the chimney sweeps are coming. That will make a change from the ordinary. Day 42 When I was working for Mrs. Berry and running around, I often used to see our local chimney sweep with his rods and brushes on his shoulder, tying his trade with a cry of sweep, and anyone that wanted his services would come out of the houses and call him in. And let's see what that number 67 means. So in the Victorian streets, um, they were packed with vendors. So butchers' boys would call for orders and come back with the meat on trays. Girls would sell fresh watercress in big baskets. Hotman sold beer and ale. There was the muffin man, the man selling chestnuts, flower sellers and cherry sellers in the right season. The cat meat man would sell horse meat for pets. Even the horse dung from passing horses would be shoveled up and sold as mignon. And that's just for starters. Okay. But in a grand place like Little House, the sweep comes calling by appointment. And they're the smartest sweeps I've ever laid eyes on. Because it wasn't that long ago that boys were sent up their bigger ch chimneys. But now more sweeps are men. They made a law against using boys, and quite right too. Grandpa used to tell us kids a gruesome tale of a boy getting right in the chimney and being roasted alive. They don't let boys work down the mines now either. It may mean fewer jobs, but then poor lads often work in near darkness, heaving cars of coal a donkey would think twice about pushing or pulling. Of course, many country folk and poor of all don't use sweeps. Nyanti May pulled an old holly bush with the chimney to clear it herself, and her boy, my cousin John, once sent a chicken down the chimney so its fluttering wings would clear the suit as it fell. And cruel as it sounds, that ain't as uncommon as you might think. Mrs. McNamara let me watch the sweeps at work in the drawing room because it has the biggest, grandest fireplace with the biggest, grandest chimney in the whole house. And because it's one of my responsibilities to prepare the fires and keep it clean. Mrs. McNamara came too. What with that rule about us maids not fraternising with the opposite sex? And we stayed way back. And I had to make up any lost time working later. But it was interesting to watch. Nanny Brown came through once, carrying a kicking and screaming Master William in her arms. Turns out that he wanted to watch the chimney sweep that worked too. But Mrs. Kirbychot had left strict instructions that he weren't to, cause it's dirty work. I felt sorry for him. Being rich ain't everything, you know. Mrs. McNamara says that not every fireplace has its own chimney, 
a lot of the fireplaces on different floors feed into the one chimney. The smoke going up flues, sort of a patch, uh, passageways connected to it. But this is how they cleared my one. This is a lovely little drawing that Dane has drawn for us, just to give us an idea of what the chimney looks like. So this is the fireplace that Dane works at. And this is the very long chimney, as you can see, going up the uh, between the um, house. And these are the passageways, so the flues, which is also known as the passageways that go up the chimney and where all the soot and dust and ash go up the chimney as well. My counting ain't the best at the best of times. I reckon even Mrs. McNamara must have lost count of how many watts they added to get all the way up. It's a tall, tall chimney, and Tom tells me that it's one of his favourite perching places too, where he can see for miles with his beady pigeon eyes. When one of the sweeps saw me watching, he gave me a broad grin and winked. With his face covered in soot, his teeth looked whiter than the freshly washed pinny, and his eyes looked kind of wild. But it took to be a good luck. Some people pay good money to have a sweep at the church when they wait for the luck he'll bring them. Okay. That's all your class key text reading done for today. If you want, you can pause and rewind the video at any time to have a um, go and read at your own pace. So I want you to do uh, answer these two questions for me now, just to check on how well you've read the text with me. So question number one is, why did Master William throw a tantrum when Nanny Brown was carrying him? You will find that on page 122. And question number two is, what are the passageways called in the chimney? And you will find that on page 123. So pause the video and go back to the video and rewind it to look for your answers as well as have a go at reading at your own pace yourselves. Thank you very much for listening today and please remember to put your answers on tapestry so I can have a look as well. Take care and bye.